So when governments turn around and say, oh, we know the populace wants something because we carried out an independent review or we carried out a survey of a section of the society and we know you want this thing because there's a high number of positive responses. I've never had any faith in any of that because I do wonder what section of society they take these results from. I've been sent something very interesting about LTNs along these lines and I will tell you about it next. Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel, last one of the day. Hope you're doing alright. Let me know in the comments below what you're up to. Before I begin, I just want to point to our Discord page. If you're uh, part of the community, the Andy Gabby Cabby community, and uh, you know you want to have a chat with all the other subscribers, look in the description below and you'll see a link to our Discord. You can go on there and you don't have to wait for a video to come out. You can go and have a chat with everybody, make pals and you know, small talk and all the rest of it, so go check it out, absolutely free. Also, while I'm on free things, the channel is growing, it really is, we're on 37,400 and something subscribers now, if I could make 40,000 by Christmas, I would be a happy cabbie, so if you haven't done so already, please consider hitting the subscribe button, absolutely free to do, no obligation, doesn't cost a dime, and it really helps the channel, I do appreciate that. Anyway, let's go to this story, shall we? We've been doing a lot of stuff about uh, LTNs, ULEZ, 15-minute cities, and all the rest of it. And they've got to justify it somehow. One of the things with LTNs, for example, is they'll put out a consultation months after things have been approved already. And there's plenty of evidence online. You've just got to look for it to suggest that. Well, there's LTNs, uh, you know, low traffic neighbourhoods. If anyone doesn't know, they're putting planters and bollards in strategic places to close certain roads off to make sure traffic does not go down them. So then you have to go all round. I got sent an article uh, yesterday about massive traffic jams in and around the Oxford area taking an hour to get through. Can you imagine 15 minute cities? That would be an absolute nightmare. Well, 13,000 people have signed an online petition on the government website to say they want an independent review into these low traffic neighbourhoods because they're worried about congestion and in turn they're worried about uh, pollution. Well, this independent review they're asking for will be a whitewash. Uh, what I mean by a whitewash, they'll turn around and say LTNs are a great idea. Now, the thing is, they've appointed someone from something called the Active Travel Academy. This is run by a Rachel Aldred, who is a professor of transport, and she will look into it and carry out this independent review. Now, the problem is, uh, Professor Aldred has a track record of being very approving of cycle lanes and low traffic neighbourhoods and all of that kind of stuff. So what's gonna happen? She's gonna approve of them and this report is just gonna go through in the favour of who wants it. That's what will happen. You can see it coming a mile off. That isn't my words, that's in the mainstream media. Link in the description below, have a look and comment on what you think. Perhaps we'll have a read through of the comments in a day or two. Uh, once people have had a, had a chance to air their views. Anyway, I'm off. I'll see you soon with more stuff tomorrow now, unless anything comes up. Have a great day, folks. Take care of yourselves, and I will see you soon. Doodaloo.